This is Salamancer. You are watching a scrim today between Seacrass and IDK Black, a Prem team versus a Div 1 team, and I'm joined today once again by the infamous Kuhn, Quinn, whatever, however I pronounce your name. <laughs> uh, it's, well, I prefer Kuhn. Okay, okay, because a lot of people sound... do call you Quinn. Yeah, Quinn, uh, or Kuhn, which apparently is really racist in America. <laughs> no, not in America uh, so much, I guess oh, in the yeah. UK. Um, yeah. Yeah, it, it's confusing, man. You have a confusing yeah. name. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it has a long history. I blame basically I blame Clambase for my previous name, and then this came out of it. It's, it's a long story. Gotcha. Anyway, let's, let's watch the game. <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> we do, of course, have uh, IDK dropping back to their last point right now, building an Uber up, and they've done just that. But they did lose that mid fight pretty bad, um, and you'd kind of expect that. Seacrest is a good team, right? Um, they're a really good team. I think they're prem, if I'm correct. I, I didn't play this season, yeah. so, so I can't really tell. But uh, they're they're actually they're pretty good. Yeah, yeah they're, they're prem 100%. I'm quite sure of that. Yeah, and they've. I mean, just looking at their playstyle, they have already popped this Uber into the points. Of course, uh, counter Uber coming in from IDK, so it's not like they're yeah, any slouches either. Oh. Yeah. More went down. This is a five versus four situation. Oh, Scott on the point three alive from CK. CK Res. Like, I think it's actually CK Res, if I'm correct. Okay, okay. But, I've yeah, been told Seacrest, but yeah. yeah. I don't know who told me. People yeah. troll me all the time, man, and I don't even know when it's happening. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, a pretty quick round. Two yeah, it was. It was. Uh, we, we hardly even got to shoutcast it because we were too busy talking to each other about <laughs> names. <laughs> names are important, though. Gotta get them right. Yep. Uh, Seacrest, though, I mean, yeah, they're, they're going up 1-0 very quickly here against IDK Black. Um, IDK Black does seem to have Santa murking right now, who, that guy is just all over my videos, and, uh, you know, why not? Santa's kind of magical. He can be anywhere in the world in, like, you know, less than an instant, so, makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah, well, Santa's actually a really good Welsh soldier from Wales. Um, he played, he doesn't really have a lot of teams. He, I know he played for the old IDK team, um... He played for loads of team, but he's actually a really good soldier. He's, uh, I think he's pocket, if I'm correct. Yeah, um, it, it does seem that way. Now, of course, we did see another mid-fight there, where this time around, Seacrass actually had to drop back. They kept their medic alive, just like uh, IDK did last time around. And and uh, we are seeing IDK getting the capture down just now on the point. It's taken him a while here, isn't it? Yeah, um, they were really focusing on getting the exit kills. Uh, there was a scout trying to get it away in the valley, some guy on choke. Um, well, they did right, they got two scouts down, so they will spawn now. But if they push now, they got an advantage. Uh, the scouts will not be at the flank, so if they're smart, they can just get a scout around as well. Uh, which they didn't do. They actually brought everybody to their choke, even the scouts, which forces their medic to, to multi Uber. I don't know if it was a pretty good idea. Oh, oh nice. Uh, Ray got the demo down there. Yeah, with demo down and now Honky, the soldier down as well. We've got uh, Calthon, the medic, dropping back into last. And is he... I don't think he's the normal medic for Seacrest, is he? Well, <laughs> looking at his name, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I never heard of it. Maybe it's not his real name. Maybe he was pubbing with the name and forgot to change it, as it's a PCW. Yeah, that makes um, sense. Yeah, we can't see Avatar, so I don't really know. Oh yeah, Steam community of course did go down today. I, I can actually see some of them, but uh, you know, I, I don't know. I only see one because he's in my friends list. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Oh, Scout Ooh. did get on the point there, almost got it captured, and that's going to force Red Team to sit back down on the ground, and now both soldiers coming in there. Nice! Wow. Great jump. Uh, I don't know who it was who jumped in because the demo got the kills. I think it was Evoc. Yeah, Evoc got the assist. It was Evoc, so... But you said both soldiers jumped in. I only yeah. Saw I, was I was paying attention at the medic. Gotcha. Yeah, both of the blue soldiers actually jumped in as soon as the red team kind of stood on the point just for an instant. So they took advantage of that really well. Uh, let's see who wins this mid-fight now. Seacrass getting their demo up on those crates very, very early. He's getting a little bit of spam coming in, but nothing really hitting him just yet. He's got quite a bit of health right yeah. now. The soldiers actually for Seacrest not healed up too much right now. The, and uh, the demo's really weak as well from IDK. He's been on 34... Oh, he's getting healed now. He was on 34 HP for, I think... 15 seconds maybe, the entire middle round, the medic didn't give him any heals. So he was pretty lucky Yikes. to get out. Yeah, I know that feeling, man. Especially when I play demo in like some of our American mix games and pugs. Um, I'm just like, hey, where's the heals? And he's like, I'm healing the soldier, man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. The Americans are really keen on 300, 300 with the soldiers to get yeah. about to 300 HP on middle. Which, I mean, it works sometimes, um, although I would really like to see, like, Americans versus Euros in a LAN. Oh, I want to see how that works. I've been waiting for that so long. Yeah, dude. Uh, it's, it's, 
it's possible if just Robin Walker gets behind it. Just do nah. the. Um, my idea is to get a do an invitational tournament, two from each uh, continent, uh, two teams, and just do an amazing tournament. Preferably six million dollars. <laughs> Whoa! A rake just got a two K there on Honky and Zappis. But yeah, man, that would be pretty awesome. Um, you know, a couple million dollars I think to the winning team would be kind of nice. I, I, I would settle for... Okay. It's a good start. You know, m maybe just a million. I would settle for that, you know, if I were trying to win. But, uh... <laughs> uh backup. Yeah, there is a backup going on. It's not going to be fast enough to beat no. the times five, times seven. Yeah, so this soldier is going to be more. Going to be caught out of position there, and the scout probably going to run back and try to get him. Um, but, I mean, it would be nice if we could just sponsor, like, a <laughs> team or two to go to uh, I-46 next summer, even. That would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've heard rumors uh, Phelps actually getting behind I-46. So, um... I don't know if it's financial or anything, or maybe I heard there's there was a rumor about sending an American team over, or maybe two, sponsored by Felf. We will see. I I have not heard anything about that, so that would be really really sweet if it happened. Uh, Evo he jumped in, tried to attack the medic Kalthan there, but it looks like he is just fine now. Has dropped back into the base with the rest of his team. Uh, IDK is capping the second point here again, and oh, <laughs> eats a sticky trap, doesn't die from it. Ooh, Senna. Those stairs, sometimes, for sometimes soldiers, they save you. The stairs on the on the main, and sometimes it just ruins your kill. It doesn't always take the damage, stairs. I don't know if a lot of people oh, know yeah. it, but the stairs in Badlands are kind of buggy. It's I think it's been here in there for since the beginning of TF2. If you shoot it, sometimes the opponent doesn't take damage. Oh. And it, it, it can be game-changing, especially if the medic is on the stairs. Yeah, that's actually pretty wacky. Uh, I'm going to have to start standing there when I play medic now. Yeah. Just don't stand too close to the wall, because most soldiers shoot oh, there. Oh yeah, now. there you go. All right, okay, we'll see Crest. again. Yeah, they Virtually do. going into the point, got the demo down, which is great by RDK moving into the main. Um, actually falling back to stop the backup now, which in my opinion is a good idea because I was, it was pr pretty useless to go for the loss anyway. Efox tries to get the scout down, but the scout got some great meters on the on the soldier. Only nine HP on the spiral, waiting for the little metal who isn't there. Almost killed himself with a rocket. Um, I think IDK played it out really well, just going back. They did lose their medic. Yeah, I was watching Tuche actually, or Tuse, whatever his name is. He was chasing down the medic and uh, almost went for the bottle kill, but it looks like IDK oh, caps it wow. again. Yeah, I, don't, uh, I forgot who the scout was who went in for the medic. He almost killed him, and basically because the scout was going on the medic top left, the entire team was distracted, jumped for the top left, and then the, another, I think it was a soldier or demo came in and kept the point. Yeah, that, that's worked pretty well considering they didn't even have a medic for that push. That's pretty wacky, man. Yeah, well, I think they didn't have a medic, but weren't they three against six against three? Yeah, so I mean, it was a good decision to push in yeah. with six versus three, but or five versus three, whatever it was. But you know, not having a medic means a lot of you get hurt, and not everybody's going to be at full health when they're pushing in there. So, uh, a yeah. gutsy decision. But yeah, Seacrest very easily won that mid-fight. Uh, we watched Tuche just standing there, like, running around the, the, the point with soldiers and demos bombing around him. He's just like, I'm not taking any damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, we mentioned in the beginning of this match that IDK is the Division 1 team and Seacrest is the Premiership team. Mm -hmm. But IDK is actually the lead. Well, with Seacrest pushing into last, but still. You're right, it's pretty oh! close. Oh, sp <laughs> oh, sniper. Yeah, Rake known for being a pretty good sniper, so I hear, huh? Yeah, yeah, he plays it a lot. He just random, well, not randomly because he's good at it, but he goes Whoa. sniper a lot, and that's his second kill on the soldier. Um, yeah, well, it's a good pick, of course, but it's not the demo or a medic, so they're still doubting ready to push out. They're actually going to push out. They're I think the soldier's going to jump up. They're waiting for it now. Uh, oh, soldier went down for IDK. That, that, I think that just ruined their push, to be fair. Yeah, uh... Evo, oh, if he's down, up. yep, nice back up there by Zappis, who uh, oh. apparently is looking kind of sad today. The colon C makes me think of uh, a very sad person, I guess. Mm, yeah, it's pretty sad, smiley face. We have to search it up on the uh, Urban Dictionary. Well, uh, Touche, or Touche, or I, I don't know how to pronounce this, man. I'm I like just not even. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. He's uh, getting out here now once again, taking just a bit of sticky bomb damage from Hui, but uh, Hui is way, way lower health right now, getting just now the oh, heals yeah. from the medic. 
Oh, Seagrass losing almost everybody, though. Santu, Touche, Kalfin is down, so no medic here. Uh, if IDK plays it right, they could get a clean wipe. It's only one scout left right now, uh, and I don't think he realizes just who, just how damaged the entire blue team there was. He could have gone in for maybe just one more meat shot and killed somebody with that, couldn't he? Uh, it could, but yeah, he already got taken on as well. Um, it, I think the soldier who jumped on it really aggressive on the enemy's train. I think it was Efog. He catched the pipe straight away in the air and got juggled back onto the middle point and just got focus fire. Plus he lost the height advantage against the other soldier. And that, I think that just ruined it to be fair. They catched a lot of spam. Evoke, yeah, yeah, he just Ooh. took a little bit of uh, sticky damage there, and it looks like the scouts are being ubered in to the main right now, oh. but Rake gets taken down. We're stealing our tactic! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, we did that with Infused, um, I think, two times in official, like, in the same official, but two times in a row. I, uh, Dignitas, had, uh, or Epsilon, one of the teams, came up with a strategy to hold in lobby, and all really aggressive. So what we did, uh, they were actually all the team was aggressive. We just uber two scouts in, uh, and let them run through the main on the last point, and it worked two rounds in a row. Wow. That's, no, that's pretty yeah. impressive. Uh, I guess people just didn't know how to deal with it, huh? They're like, wait, uber scouts, yeah. what? Yeah, where, where are they going? Third, we tried the third round and then they had a pyro and main just air blasting us back and that just <laughs> it was a pretty good kind of strategy. Uh, we've got uh oh uh, IDK team taking a lot of early damage here as they get out of the house. Scout standing around behind and actually going into the house. Uh Seacrass has taken only one scout as casualty so far. They've taken a bit of damage as well, but no, IDK having to trap back here at the middle point. And yeah, good mid fight once again by Seacrass. Mm -hmm. When when they turn it on, they really turn it on, huh? Yeah, it's true. Um, like I said before the last time, two scouts are down from IDK, one just spawned, but they're totally not using the flanks again. They're just going in with the entire team. Uh, Medic has to focus on more heals. I don't know if it's a good idea. Yeah, the scout is... Actually, the scout is going to back up now. If Rake is in the middle, I, he won't make that in time. Um, he'll probably go behind from Choke or wait for his, maybe a red guy to spawn. Oh, he got called by the scout. He's 20 HP. Nah, he won't go for the Medic now. He's probably going to fall back to uh, resub. Oh, actually, he's not. He jumped out. Uh, I'm kind of surprised there that I was watching the <sighs> combos fight each other, yeah. and Calthan, even though he got bombed after the Uber by, uh, I think it was Evokia, somehow did not die after that. Uh, that was pretty crazy. So uh, now Red Team's going to have a big Uber advantage, pushing into last. They might not even use an Uber, although, no, I guess we've got two spawners now, so they probably will. Well, there's still the demo is still down, um, but it's too late now. We spawn in one second. There's no chance for, push for them to push without an Uber. Um, I think they, if they went in earlier, they could have done it. There were two people down from IDK. Oh, now it's a soldier down. They could, they, they should have pushed in. It's too late now. They do have the Uber font. It's 100% against 50%. Yeah, they're going to push in from main. Scout's probably go. going on top with a soldier. Um, the demo is down. Yeah, this is an easy cap. The demo is down and they can get the medic. Oh, Seeker risk getting two kills. Almost three kills. Uh, making three yeah, versus three, but they forgot the scout who was on top left still. Yep, nicely done. Uh, Seacrest bringing it up to 3-3 three, three now. How much time is left here? 16, almost 17 minutes. Um, so, just a quick question. What is the highest scoring game you've ever seen in ETF2L? I don't know if it's ETF2L, but I think we played uh, uh, 7 versus 5 runs or something. 7-5? Yeah, it was roll, and then you roll 3 rounds, and then the opponent rolled 3 rounds, and it went on and on. Um, I'm not sure if it was Premiership Whoa. or that I played in Division 1, but it was a crazy match. But yeah, I think it was 7-5. That's, that's pretty crazy. Oh, IDK wiped. just, yeah, got wiped out there. Seacrest only lost one soldier, and I hope I didn't make anybody nauseous there with my terrible camera work. Uh, I <laughs> bumped my mouse by accident and just spun like 360 degrees. It was pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, 100% Uber now for Kalthan, and so we're going to see Seacrest push into last. I... I don't know, they should probably be going even faster, shouldn't they? I don't even want to. They're probably waiting for the scouts to catch up and everybody uh, to be okay. in the team and all go t with each other. Um, well, it doesn't really matter if they multi because the yeah. opponent ha has no Uber, so I think it's a good idea. Uh, Rake is on Sniper again, like you said as well, and he's a really good Sniper, but just go when he needs to pick. Switch back and he went Scout again. Uh, oh. They actually only got one kill with that Uber. I don't know, they're probably going to lose Soldier. No, he Oh, he didn't die. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, everybody from, from left. yeah, everyone from IDK kind of got backed up into the stairs on the top left, yeah. and then they just got pill spam. The scout came in from behind. Soldier came in and pinched from the front. I mean, it was it was nasty, man. 
Yeah, but the War server in hell. front was against three people and he didn't die, so that's pretty impressive. Yeah, or once lucky. again, though, I think Seacrest is in the lead. They were in the lead for maybe like one point, but IDK's actually been doing really well so far. Um, Seacrest now, of course, in possession of a 4 3 advantage here, but that's not very much at all considering how fast these points it's have been captured. Much, no. And, oh, Soldier coming in right now, trying to get after the Medic for Red Team. Calvin with 16 health left, but now nobody's after him anymore. Rake gets popped up in the air and killed. It's three versus four, and surprisingly, our blue team is kind of still in this. They really need to back out there, and there they finally go. Yeah, the Medic is alive. You're right, indeed. I think there are not a lot of, a lot of stalemate, uh, sp stalemate pushes. Um, it was either one of the teams will just defend uh, successfully or attack successfully. So, yeah, we got pretty fast rounds. So seven rounds in 50 minutes. It's not that bad. Drozo just kind of hanging out on top of this box here now after getting killed. And yes, the uh, Spire is getting captured once again. IDK going to be backed up to their last point, but at least they have 100% Uber this time. Uh, that is the benefit of keeping your medic safe after that mid-fight. And, and if it starts to go south, I mean, that's, you know, a lot of the really conservative teams, I guess, will just say, okay, no, back the medic out real fast, right? Yeah. It's called Springering. It comes from um, the old TCM team where they had a Belgian medic Springer. Oh, okay. And he will always jump, um, get out of the fight as soon as possible. Huh. Some medics just rather stay with the team and he was really keen about surviving. And um, I think actually Darm came up with a team or Agron. Um, from a <laughs> actually a famous LAN video. Where they were, uh, I don't, you probably saw that where Dignitas were making tactics with um, yes. the player cards. Yes, with the gravel pit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it's called Springering. Get okay. your medicus out of there as soon as possible. All right. We've got Hui setting up a little uh, invisible sticky trap there in the doorway leading up to the battlements. Um, so that's, that's a nice trap. There were some good kills there on the Seacrest team, but IDK just was not able to push back out, so they're stuck in their last point once again. Not a, not a fun place to be holed up. And now yep. more is on Sniper. I was just about to say that um, Seacrest actually choose for a soldier to sweep up, sw um, sweep out to Sniper. Um, yeah, <laughs> apparently it works. Uh, yeah, what this... Oh, that was really good. What they actually try to do is, um, what a lot of teams do, if they have a sniper on the attacking side, they send a scout in, run straight to the point, to get like two or three people jumping down on the point to block it. And if you have a good sniper, you can pick one or two of those people out of it. That's a nice little tactic there, I'm gonna have to write that down. <laughs> yeah, Tuche getting out here on the balcony once again, Hui on the point this time around, although hanging out behind the crates and taking just a bit of spam here, has to drop back for a health kit. Meanwhile, a lot of pressure coming in from Seacrass. IDK got one kill there, so uh, the demo man down. But, oh, they lost their no. medic. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where who he is. Um, let me search him. Oh, he's actually in the valley. He might catch a pipe over the house. I don't know if they're chasing him. No, they're not chasing him. They're, they're focusing on the cap. Um, yeah, the, the heavies are pushing out to choke. I don't know if who is going to resub. I, yeah, oh, he's, he's over the point. Yeah. Hmm. It's quite dangerous. Uh, I think he's going to resub. Yeah, he is yeah, going there to. Yeah, he is. Okay, not a bad decision smart by Huey then. Yeah, smart move. He just this tried to get some fight. free damage, yeah. Well, not free damage. Actually, some demos are, are really good at an aggressive side. They try to Uber the Medic early. So they will probably lose the Spiral, which they are currently not. And then, uh, but are not playing against Uber Disadvantage on Lost. And, well, they're just getting wiped from every side. Scout oh, Gurgen just died oh, there too. No uh, good. Yeah, Secret Rest came from all sides. They came, one came from, uh, wow, I forgot the, how do you call it? How do you call the thing next to Spyro? I forgot it. Spire? Tri no, no, ne yeah, next to Spire. Trash? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, oh, trash. trash. I haven't played for three weeks. I'm already <laughs> losing course. Just, just losing it, man. Gotta yeah. get back in the game. Yeah, one from balcony and one jumped on the spiral. It, they were folks from all sides. Yeah, really great work by Seacrest. Seacrest showing us why they're in the Premiership right now. Uh, IDK, they're gonna have to put together three points now to catch up with Seacrest. It is, of course, six to three. Uh, Rake is the first man to die here, and wow, IDK is all backed up. Low, low health. Everybody's weak. Getting taken out real fast here and dropping back through the valley. That's not good for them. Okay, you're right. This is going really fast. I, I actually thought it was 3 to 5. I didn't know they scored another point. So, this is a really fast match. Maybe 
could break the record from 7 to 5. I don't know if you saw the score already. Don't spoil it, but apparently... It's a source if you demo, of course, so the match is played already. I see your microphone going on, but I can't hear you. Oh yeah, good point. Uh, no. I, I muted it, so that's cool. <laughs> oh, these things happen. Got your back, bro. These things happen. Yeah, that's cool. All right, Gurgen is way, way at an uber disadvantage because I'm, it just took them too long to drop back. So now, oh, I don't know what IDK can do about this. They've got a pyro trying to air blast this stuff away, but Santa's already been taken down. Gurgen is about to die. He's got... He didn't even pull out his needles for that, so... Oh, well, it is, if it isn't... Yeah, it is kept... Um, IDK wasn't paying attention all. The medic actually had to drop down on the last point to save it from the scouts, but there were two scouts dancing around him. Uh, even though the scouts didn't do much, the demo had time to come in the point and put a sticky on the medic and killed him. Street to seven, so... Wow. These are a lot of points indeed. It's yeah. Just... IDK needs like four points now to uh, catch up to Seacrest. Need it in ten minutes, which is not, you know, it's not impossible. It's possible two and a half minutes, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Honky <laughs> now coming in on top of the medic, juggles him, going for the kill, and doesn't did. manage. Uh, did he though? I didn't. Yeah, know. yeah, the medic is down from. I don't oh, know if okay. you're talking about the Seacrest medic or. If... No, uh, I was talking about Honky from Seacrest. Oh. He was going after Gurgen, who apparently is still alive. Um, it's two versus two here. Scout demo versus medic demo. Who can win this? Hui is taking a lot of hits right now, but he takes out the enemy demo. And this, oh, wow. And he got ooh. the over as well. Yeah, nicely yeah, done well, by IDK. Gor Gorgon was just standing on the train, and they were. Ho the opponent was hoping he would jump down out of Scaredom and um, go to the house, because there were stickies on the... Uh, between the house and the train, but uh, he was really smart, just keep standing on the train. Uh, yeah, it worked, and now the Uber. I think they're going to jump in for the Medic. Medic is retreating from the house from CK Rest. Uh, th they will get the scout? I don't know if he went down. Oh, he didn't get him. No, Rake went for a meat shot there, but decides it's better to just uh, get the capture on the point now. And IDK is going to try to push forward in a bit, but they've got an Uber disadvantage, so uh, yeah, Tuche mm -hmm. probably going to take this Uber, huh? Really smart move by. Well, I don't know if it was smart to appreciate it with the medic as well, but at least they forced the medic from IDK to Uber, and now they got the response is 99%. We're probably going to push in. Demo is really low though, he was on 5 HP, and the scout didn't finish him up. Oh, and he should go now, the medic is around the corner. I don't know what they're waiting for, they're just letting their own team die. And they're probably going to. Yeah, there's another one going to. I, I don't see why he wasn't Uber, Ubering earlier. He knew he had advantage, so there was no. It didn't really matter if he multi. Yeah, weird decision. Oh, Honky going for an air shot, but Rake got taken down by Santu before he could. Um, and now Seacrest getting in possession to the point once again. I think they're going to start, you know, closing this game up. Oh, Honky just got killed by Evokia, though. So IDK is still in control of the point, and actually there's only two left alive here, except for the spawners now from Seacrest. Yeah, I've did some, uh, I've you know, searched up uh, the medic from Seacrest, and he's in a Division 2 team. But uh -huh. they actually lost all of their matches, apart from one, <laughs> so... Oh. Uh, no good. Nah. So, well, you can't he's doing it. Okay, yeah, job, no, Kalsen's doing an alright job, although it seems uh, like there's a little bit of, like, miscommunication, and yeah. um, both of the medics for both these teams, it looks like, have been overextending a little bit and not falling back when they should, huh? Not even springering. Ooh, the pyro and, <laughs> pyro and engineer on CK Rest, they, they, I think they felt really confident, and they have the feeling they can't lose this anymore, but it's actually still possible. This round took a bit longer than it should have, two and a half minutes, but... Uh, they have a bit more than two minutes per round to put it, pull it to a draw. Yeah, I'm I'm impressed by IDK so far. Although you know you got to keep in mind that they do have Santa. Who does Santa play for a particular team, or is he just like the all-around Merc right now? I don't know. He, I think he's really, as far as I remember, he's really unlucky with teams. Okay, I, I'm he's a really good guy, but I don't know if he's in a team currently. Let me watch. Okay. Well. Actually, he's on the IDK roster here, so he's just not using his tech. Oh, I see. All right. Interesting, because I've, I've wanted to know, like, Santa, are you on a team? Maybe I should just, like, ask the guy. I think I've got him added. Um, another mid-fight loss for IDK, though, and both the Ubers are ready at the same time. Let me just get my camera here. There we go. Uh, is IDK pushing? I mean, they kind of have to, right? But are they going to go through the house? Yeah. What are they the doing? On them, mm. but oh. Well, well, the medic is saving this team right now. If the scout gets out... He does get out. Um, there's still a scout underneath the bridge, which to take down. They should push now. Two down. Two s a soldier and a scout. If they get the lost soldier, which he gets air shot at great, and they have to push now. Full throttle. They have five and a half minutes left for three rounds. Full throttle indeed, guys. Press it forward. 
100%, whatever you can do, 110%. Give us 110%. It's not mathematically possible. I hate when people ask me that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it's oh. Just, IDK it's sport, guys. Medic. It's esports. In sport, you always talk about going 200% as well, so. <laughs> um, interesting decision by IDK. They lost their medic, so they're Ooh. all dive bombing in, trying to See, kill yeah. Calthin or whoever else, but it's not working yet. Yeah. Ibokia got one kill there on more. But the medic's still alive for Seacrest, so I think time is winding down here. It's only five minutes left to go for three rounds now. Watch the sticky trap meta. Watch the sticky trap meta. It's between the. Oh, the scout spotted it. Yeah, he's blowing it up now. Oh, that's too bad. Watch the sticky trap middle. Like in one of these little spots here on between the uh, the slats, yeah. the wooden slats. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I didn't know the English word, but that, that's yeah, it. Yeah, understood. Um, yeah, but basically IDK just lost his match just by failing that push. Yeah, they've done a good job though, and I think we're going to expect to see them do um, an even, you know, continue to do a good job because hey, it's it's still a PCW. They're still practicing. Yeah. Rake getting a nice kill there on Calvin, so uh, oh, he gets taken down, and now Zappis actually could have chased down the medic there. Kurgan could have gone, uh, could have died to a couple of meat shots, but instead yeah. IDK is getting an all kill. Four minutes, three rounds. Nah, it's not possible. It's a great, <laughs> it's a great push though, but unless they. Somehow manage this? Uh, no, it's not possible. Well, I, 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 don't, I have no idea if it's possible, technically. Well, I think they're going to be saving face at the very least. Uh, IDK yeah. now pushing Make out and... Yeah, I mean, they, they very well could do that. Um, bring it bring it up to like one of those seven five seven six situations. Honky gets taken down there after trying to contest for the spire. IDK is looking in a really good position. They should be able to cap it, although they are getting just a bit of spam up there, so they want to try and stop, you know, the sniper, the demo man, all that. More is on sniper right now, so they've got to watch I think for that. They're actually pushing bottom left already. I saw you were just walking by. Yeah, I was actually correct. I was just, I was watching the sniper and the Uber came walked past. What? Oh, I think I had a graphical bug because it's just Uber. Yeah, it, it took them a long time to Uber through there because they knew that Seacrest wasn't ready. Nice round by IDK Black. Let's see here. I to be that. fair, I said before it wasn't possible, but one and a half minute is technically possible for one round. Ooh. So we might get surprised. I, I hope so, actually. That would be the highest scoring game I've ever seen. Sadly, a PCW yep. and not like an official match. But, uh, oh, Tuche taking just a bit of damage here. Uh, but... We Mm. Oh, yeah, no, okay, to make a set of demo now this time, like I said, which he did wrong previous round. He's not giving Huey enough heals. 30 HP, and he's so aggressive, Huey. Oh, he got, they lost the medic, just the medic alive. Woo. Oh, he oh, killed like a soldier. 20 HP. Oh, uh, yeah, no, don't shotgun, don't shotgun. Oh, one rocket on the bridge would have been enough. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, Evoke has to jump up. He knows there's only two players alive, but he stays with his medic. He just started the cap already till the scout was there. I don't want to make this. It's it's still technically possible. Two minutes and fifty seconds left. Yeah, they they could, but they're not. They've got scouts on the point now, but they're not pushing in yet. And this is this is a mistake that may cost them. Oh, yeah. IDK do need to push in quickly because the longer they wait, the uh, the less time they have to cap that last one. No snipe. She can rest the shoes. Oh wait, I'm eating something from my throat. I'm still sick. Oh okay. CKRS is using a sniper and a pyro. Um, I don't know where this pyro is, but the sniper's aiming for main. They're actually coming top right with the Uber. In my opinion, they've waited way too long for that. The pyro is just trying to, yeah, deny some time, which is actually working. Pyro, oh no, wait, CKRS is defending. The pyro went down. Yeah. But oh, they got Calvin dies. In exchange. And now um, Santa doing some good damage up here. Um, still one and a half minutes left. Two, two players. Just a scout and a soldier on the point. Ooh. Okay, this is going to be. It's going to be close. Say anything about this? Oh. It's going to be really close. It's six to seven right now, mm -hmm. and how much time is left? A minute and twelve seconds. So IDK absolutely must uh, wipe the enemy out at mid and cap really, really fast, or they lose. I think, if I'm correct, they searched it up. Is that technically the fastest possible is one minute and ten seconds? Oh wow. And one player went down from Seek at rest, so this might be something. Or two players, soldier jumped in on the demo and the medic. Uh, it's three first. Oh no. Two players alive, both on 59 HP, 11 HP. No, no, this is over. 
Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's only Hui and Evokia left. They're doing a decent job of just getting some extra damage at the very end. Trying to, oh, save some face. But that's going to be it. IDK loses 6-7 to seven in this PCW against Seacrest. Uh, this has, of course, been Salamancer and uh, Kuhn from Kuhn TV. Why don't you give us a shout-out to your channel? The control point is being contested. Yeah, I've got my own YouTube channel uh, where I upload my scout point of views from basically all the Premiership games. Uh, I haven't played this season. I'm playing for a German team now. Well, we're quite inactive because of one player, but you can go to www.kuhn.tv. That's Q-U-N.tv. And I will be streaming at DreamHack, by the way. Nice. All right. Well, I will look forward to that then. That's going to be this weekend. So uh, do next tune weekend. in next weekend. Not this weekend. Next weekend. But yeah, I, I look forward to it. Want to see DreamHack. Want to see I-44. MLG is going on. Um, anyway, this has been Salamancer. Subscribe to me as well on YouTube.com slash FatMop for daily shoutcasting. And I will see you guys later.